Hi everyone, this is Bama from Bama's Crochet Creations, and today I'm going to show you the method that I used to calculate how much yarn I need for any project. So to do this, what you need is your hook that you're going to use in your project, the actual yarn that you're going to use, you're just going to be making a small sample, so it's not going to use up a lot, and you need a marker to mark down exactly where we need to at that point. I'm going to be using the 5 2, I'm sorry, the 5 3 2 method, which is a chain 5, make 3 half double crochets, and then a chain 2 to do the uh, next block. So, what I recommend for today is um, I'm going to do the first three rows, I'm sorry, the first two rows, that's all I usually do. And I'll explain why I do this first before starting the calculation. All right. So I've done the first block, and then I'm going to do the next row. And I'm sorry, I crochet very quickly, so I'm trying to do this slowly so that people can uh, see what I'm doing. Three, I'm going to turn that. And join it there for that second one, two, and then the three half double crochets that are required. All right. So now before I start the next block, what I do is I actually mark my yarn right here and then at uh, 36 inches. Most of the patterns that we see, I'm sorry, the skeins of yarn that we see have on them, let's see if I can get this in focus here, mm, probably not, sorry. Well, this says 285 yards or 4.5 ounces or 260 meters and 127.5 grams. Now, depending where you live, you measure by yards or by meters. For the purposes of this, I'm going to do it by yards which is 36 inches per yard. So I'm going to measure with my little, it's actually an eyeliner because I couldn't find a marker. So I'm going to measure 36 inches and then I'll be right back. Hi there. All right, so what I've done is I've marked it with the marker right there at the beginning of it. And then I've measured 36 inches and I've marked it again. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crochet until I get to this point. And I'm going to start at the beginning of one of the stitches with the marker there. And then what I'll do is I'll crochet the half double crochets until I get there. And then I will come back. Hi again. All right. So what I've done is I was able to do two and a half stitches. So for the purposes of this, what I always do is round down, not up. It's going to give you a false sense of security there. So if my project tells me that I have two stitches in one yard and this project I'm sorry this skein of yarn actually has 285 yards I can calculate 2 times 85 so we're going to do 2 times 285 equals 570 that I require or I'm sorry that I'm able to do with one skein and that's 200 I'm sorry 570 blocks of stitches it's not like each stitch individually this is full blocks so we're counting the two not the half all right so having said that let's say my project contains let's just round it off to 2000 so what we need to do is we need to calculate how many skeins of yarn you're going to need to accomplish the 2000 stitches easy enough to do. You take the 2,000 and divide it by 570. So 570, oh pardon me, 2,000 divided by 570. So it's going to take us three and a half skeins to complete the 2,000 stitches. Now having said that, that's going to leave you with a half um, skein of yarn that you're going to have. And the other part of that too is it's going to leave you actually a little bit more than half because we got to this point, we got to half of the stitch. So there's this amount too that's not counted there. All right. So what I normally do is if I calculated it, calculated it this way, 
I know that I'm going to have more than half of half of a skein left to do or at the end of the project that I will be able to take into account when I'm thinking of how much is wasted at the end for the ends that you need to sew in. My method um, methodology here is if it's at least a half a skein, I don't buy an extra one. If it's less than half a skein of yarn, then I will buy an extra one. Yes, it means that you're going to have leftovers. You might have too much. <laughs> oh, well, make a project, make a, a temperature blanket, um, an odds and ends dog, uh, stuffy. Uh, uh, um, I've made one with all the different colors. So there's a lot of things, obviously, you can do with all your ends. Um, but this is what I do for the calculation. I tried it with weight. It didn't work well. That could be that I didn't have a really high-end um, scale. Even the food scale didn't work well. So this is the metho um, methodology that I use to calculate how much I'm going to need for this project. And this is this is for um, you need to do this for each color so you can determine how much you need. Now, you're probably asking, well, why did I need to bother doing these this these first two rows. The reason I did this is because when I am crocheting at the beginning, sometimes it's a little looser or you're trying to get your rhythm going. And this gives you a, what I call a truer sense of um, what your stitches are going to be like in the way of tension. Um, I had uh, one of our um, board members that I did this with her online and she was using the single crochet. She got 11 in there or was halfway through the 11. Um, so we calculated it that way because she was doing her project in a single crochet format. So um, this has worked for me. It hasn't failed yet. Uh, it did fail when I tried to weigh it, but it, that may work for you and that's okay. This is just the method that I use. And this is the reason that I don't put in my patterns the um, amount of yardage that you need uh, for each of your projects. Because everybody one stitches differently and it's different with the hook size that you use. It's different with the yarn that you use. So if you do this at the beginning with the type of yarn that you're going to use and you've established the gauge that you need to work with and give it a couple tries with different size hooks, depending on what you want to use, um, it, it's been pretty good for me in the way of accuracy. So I hope that this is helpful for you. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention as well is in each of the patterns, when it does give you yardage, if you do buy them or get them for free that has the yardage, that yardage does not include the tails or the wasted yarn that you've had to sew in. It only includes the stitch count. All right, so I hope that's helpful. Um, please uh, feel free to give me some feedback. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. And if you need anything else, um, again, PM me, um, send me an email. This has been Bama from Bama's Crochet Creations, and I hope this was helpful for you. Have a good night.